What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ryzen 5 budget build that we built last week with the Ryzen 5 1400 CPU. Of course I was able to get my hands on a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU as well. So I'm going to do standard uh, standard clock benchmarks and then I'm going to do a slight overclock up to 3.7 gigahertz. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the 1600 CPU in the same build. Uh, stock clocks and then I'm going to also push that one at 3.7 gigahertz. The reason I'm not trying to go any higher is because I don't want to adjust voltages. I just want to see out of the box how the CPU per performs and of course we're not using an uh, you know AIO cooler or anything. We're just using the stock um, Spire cooler so that's where we're not going to be pushing it too far but that being said why don't we go ahead and dive into the benchmarks and see what this thing does. Well guys, hopefully that gave you a general idea of what type of performance you're gonna get out, out of these two CPUs. Now, if you guys could kind of give me a little bit of feedback as far as the benchmarks go, obviously there's a lot more tests I could be running, there's a lot more that other channels do, but you know, I'd like to get a little feedback if you guys don't mind and let me know which ones that maybe I didn't do or which ones you guys don't really think are necessary at this point in the game. If you could leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys think about that, that would be great and that way I can kind of improve for the next time we do another video like this. Now looking at the two CPUs that we picked here, we obviously have the entry level 4 core 8 thread and the 6 core 12 thread. And the reason I kind of went with those two is because they are the, the ones that really I don't think a lot of people consider. But that being said, obviously we did all of our tests with the stock coolers. I don't have an AIO on there and I was still able to push them pretty well. The 6 core especially did really well, I was able to get 500 megahertz over the stock clock and again that's without adjusting voltages and that's without having an AIO to kind of push it a little bit further. I feel like it's safe to say that you definitely could probably get it close to 4 gigahertz. I could be wrong but of course you know I haven't been able to test it with a, with an AIO but that's just kind of the vibe that I got based off of how it was responding when I was adjusting the clock you know during testing. Now as far as preference when it comes to price of the CPU versus performance you get out of it, I would probably say either one is going to be a solid choice and it really depends on what you're looking for. Now when you look at the 1400, obviously it is the bare bones basic CPU, but when you're using it for gaming only and you're really trying to keep a budget friendly build together, it's going to be a great choice because you're still going to get good performance and a lot of that gaming fallback is going to go to your card anyways, your graphics card, right? It's not going to weigh too, too heavily most of the time on the CPU. Now if you're trying to get into content creation or you know photo editing or anything like that that's going to use those uh, multi-core applications then I think the 6 core is also a really good choice. It's only 229 which I know can seem kind of high to some people but I think it's totally worth it especially with the amount of push that you can get on the overclock if you have you know the adequate cooling setup for that CPU. Hopefully this video was pretty informative for you guys. I know there wasn't too much of me talking and it was more of just the info and maybe that's what you guys like better. But if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to go ahead and leave those in the comment section below as always. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you guys hated it. And uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already and you want to see more tech videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. I'll see you in the next one. Whoa, side note for the subscribers, if there's anything else in this build that you guys would like to see or that I did not review yet and you guys would like some more info about it, also you know, leave me a note on that stuff below as well. I'm going to probably be taking this PC apart pretty soon because I don't need it and it was really just to kind of share the info with you guys. So uh, yeah, I think that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one.